Hello everyone! My name is Miss Sarah and I am an educator for the St. Louis Zoo. And today I get to show you how to create your very own set of binoculars. We are going to use household items in order to create them. And once we are finished, we'll be able to use them on a very fun activity that we get to do outside. To make your own binoculars, you'll need two cardboard tubes, something to hold them together. We're gonna use a stapler, but you could use a glue stick if you want. And then some things to decorate with. We're going to use colored paper and cut it to fit around our tubes, but you could also just color them with markers, paint them with paint, draw with crayons, whatever you like to do. And if you wanna be able to wear your binoculars around your neck, you'll just need some sort of ribbon or string or twine to add to them too. Let me show you how we made our binoculars. So since we wanted to cover ours in colored paper, we just measured how long the tube was and cut out our paper to fit. Then we checked to see how much paper we would need to go all the way around and cut that out too. Once our paper was ready, we added a little glue to help it stick to the cardboard tube rolled it around, and then added just a little piece of tape to help it stick. Now that both of our tubes are ready, we just need to stick them together. We're gonna use a stapler, but you could use glue or tape, whatever you have at home. If you want to add a string so you can wear your binoculars, you'll need to cut a small hole or use a hole puncher if you have one, and then cut out enough ribbon or string or yarn to fit around your neck. Once you've attached your string to your cardboard tubes, you have your very own pair of binoculars. Let's take them outside and explore. Okay guys, so we just got finished making our amazing binoculars. Now I am outside in nature because I told you we had a really fun activity planned. We are gonna do our very own nature scavenger hunt. This is one that I made and it will be available to you guys if you guys would like to try doing it as well. And I'm gonna see how many things I can mark off while using my binoculars. All right, are we ready to go? So guys, I was looking with my binoculars and I saw that there are some ants on this tree. So that means that I found an insect. So I can mark off that I have now seen an insect. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? I see that there's baby goslings over there with the geese. Aw, they're so cute. So I noticed two different things on our nature scavenger hunt. We have birds and I also saw water from the pond. So let's mark those two off. These are some wildflowers that are growing at this pond. But I'm not going to pick them up because they're still growing, but it's very pretty to look at. And on our nature scavenger hunt, we have flower. So we can mark off that we have now seen a flower. So if you guys were seeing up close, these are deer tracks we found while out here on the pond. It looks like a deer must have been traveling, maybe to get some food or maybe to get a drink of water. So on here it says animal tracks. This is another one we can mark off. When I was looking through the woods, I found this tiny little feather. I'm not quite sure what bird it goes to, but it does have different colors on the very tips of the feather. Hmm, it is very soft though, but I'm gonna put it back where I found it, right in nature. Ooh, look, I found some other feathers. Maybe they went together or to the same bird. But I see the feathers on our nature scavenger hunt. So let's mark it off. Thank you guys so much for helping me with this nature scavenger hunt. I know we didn't find everything on our list today, but that does not mean that you won't find everything when you go out on your nature scavenger hunt. You guys, I had so much fun with you and using our amazing binoculars, and I can't wait to do another project with you. Bye, thank you.